I'm going to cover five details on how to determine if you have the proper draw length with a recurve style bow. Now because recurves don't have draw stops or bear bows or traditional bows or any other style bow similar to that for that matter, um, don't have draw stops, the draw length that you should be going for really is, is somewhat important and there are five things that you need to look for to make sure that you are not drawing too much or not enough and I'll cover those in this video. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jay Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery, and I'm working to make this channel a great resource for lots of different types of archery and lots of different types of archery information from form to tuning, uh, strength training, uh, lots of different stuff coming out. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the notification bell. That way you're notified every time a new video is uploaded. You know, I'm just working on making this channel a really great resource so that way you don't go through the same growing pains that I did when I was coming up in the sport. You know, there was really nothing like this information out there when I was growing up and there was just a lot of misinformation and there is still a lot of misinformation out there. So I'm, I'm just trying to make this a really good resource for some real info. You're watching the Jay Kaminsky YouTube channel. Okay, so it's actually very simple to figure out if you have the correct draw length or if you need to make adjustments. You know, especially I see a lot of young kids as they're growing, they don't change their clicker position, they don't get longer arrows or anything like that. And so they essentially, their draw length stays too short for them because they're kind of just, uh, you know, not necessarily using the correct technique anymore because their draw length is saying stay short when they really need it to be growing. So. There are a few things to just pay attention to to make sure that doesn't happen, uh, especially if you're changing new form and new technique. Um, it can really affect a whole lot of things and you just wanna make sure that you are is in optimal position as possible with the correct draw length. So the first tip is to, you need to look at a few different things all at once. And most of it has to do with body position. You know, you really just need to see what the person is doing, how they look at full draw, or if it's yourself, how you look at full draw in pictures, in a video, uh, in front of a mirror, etc. You know, you really need to make sure your head position, your body position, your anchor position, lots of things are in the correct area. And that's the main focus on what we're going to be covering here. And the easiest one really is proper anchor position. Not many people get this wrong, but I've seen it in the past and it happens, so that's why I'm covering it here. You want the string to be somewhere on or near the corner of your chin. You do not want it on the side of your face. So a proper anchor position is right here in this position, just like this. Now, if I were to anchor back here like this, like some people do, that would be an incorrect anchor position and that is just not optimal that's too long so your short your draw length would be shorter now also you don't want to be up here either and i've seen that in you know some very beginning archers because they're afraid to pull the bow back and hurt themselves but you won't if you anchor properly the third thing to mention and keeping in mind when it comes to having the proper draw length is that you are not leaning backwards now that does not mean leaning backwards this way which is possible but really doesn't affect your draw length that much it means that if the target was this direction leaning backwards this way so if i were to pull back here versus here my draw length gets much longer when i'm leaning back obviously i'm exaggerating this and not many people shoot like this at full draw. There are some that do, uh, but ideally you should be perfectly straight. If you were to draw a line through your spine, you know, to the ground, that line should be perfectly vertical and intersect in between your feet while you're at full draw. The fourth detail is to pay attention to the head position. So essentially, where is your head? Are you coming too far forward to the bow or are you too far back? I see a very common thing when it comes to youth archers, again, because they're growing, that as they pull back, they protrude their head forward to the bow. But if I had a proper draw length, you can see it's much longer with a properly neutral head position. So it's really simple. It's just as I have my head turned, it wants, to, it looks like a natural position when I have my head turned. I'm not protruding forward and I'm also not leaning my head back. So just a neutral head position is an optimal head position and an optimal draw length. The last thing to take into consideration when making sure you have the proper draw length is to make sure that you have proper alignment. Now, I have covered a form series uh, and, and basically finished it already, and if, if you haven't yet, I would highly recommend checking that out. Essentially, I cover 
from A to Z, top to bottom, every single step on how to shoot a bow properly with really sound biomechanics to hold the bow back using your bone structure, not your muscles, which is more efficient. Um, so if you haven't seen that by now, there is a link in the description below, plus I'll put a card up at the top here. Uh, but essentially, you want to make sure you have the proper alignment. So that essentially means that there's three points to take into consideration. This wrist, this shoulder, and this shoulder. Those three things need to be in a perfectly straight line, and that is going to be more efficient. So if you are in improper alignment, and I have more of a triangle between my wrist and my two shoulders, it's difficult to see in this position, but if I lean down, you can see that there is a triangle. It is not a straight line. So watch me go from improper alignment to proper alignment. And when I do that, my draw length gets a whole lot longer. Again, I'll point down so you can see this. Proper alignment, my two shoulders and my wrist are in a straight line. I'll show a video of an overhead shot just so you can see proper alignment as well in real world, not with me just angling down. So the reason that I did this video is I've had a few questions on how to determine the proper draw length. Many people will really change their head position. Um, some of it comes from because they are afraid that the clicker is going to click too soon. So they're very hesitant to pull the bow back and get back to proper form. You know, they pull back, it gets close to the clicker clicking, so they slow down and then they stick their head out like this. And it's not an ideal position. Their draw length and their clicker really should have increased. It should have moved backwards towards them so they could get into proper position uh, before shooting anyhow. So if you have any more questions on how to set your proper draw length and you're really not sure, maybe still confused, I would highly recommend uh, becoming a Patreon supporter of this channel. If you do, you have access to something called Discord, which is a, it's essentially a server where all of the patrons of this channel get to talk back and forth and really give each other some feedback and information. And I'm always on there and uh, giving feedback to everyone there. Uh, because ultimately I'm getting hundreds of comments a day on my YouTube channel and, and, and emails and everything. And it's a lot to keep up with. And it's much easier for me to just focus on the people who are really helping make a difference and help me uh, keep this content free for everyone else. So if you haven't yet, you know, it's only five bucks a month on the lowest end to still have access to that Discord server. And I guarantee I'll respond to your questions uh, if you're in there. So anyway, if you're interested in becoming a Patreon member, uh, I'll, there'll be a link in the description below. Plus, I'll put a card up at the top here now as well. So thanks. Thanks for watching. And thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter or check out books, apparel, and some seminar info, head to jkaminski.com. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you again.